true. I'm Pure Pressure and today we are going to be making a portobello grilled cheese sandwich. Just wait till you try it. What you are going to need. Mushrooms, cheese, of course. Here I have some pepper jack, some sharp cheddar. I have some monster and some Havarti. You're going to need some balsamic, a little bit of salt and pepper. I like Worcestershire sauce. I'll tell you guys a funny story about that later. Parsley, apple cider, just a tad, and about three cloves of minced garlic, depending on how many sandwiches you're planning on making. And veginase, for those of you who are vegan, or if you prefer this as a vegetarian, or if you wanna try this as a meat eater. And you'll also need some wax paper and some really good bread. I myself am using Italian bread. Very large, makes for a good hearty sandwich. Once you have the olive oil in the skillet, you wanna go ahead and add your portobello. Minced garlic. A bit of balsamic. I'm gonna add a bit of apple cider. And then you're gonna do salt and pepper. Go ahead and add your parsley. And then you want to go ahead and let that saute for about three or four minutes. Funny story, I once made stuffed bell peppers and I, once I added the Worcestershire, that's such a funny word, once I added the Worcestershire sauce, I immediately fell in love. I couldn't help it. I've been using it for everything. Like when I went on a all vegetable diet, it's the best. It spices vegetables up the absolute best. All right, I think this amount should make about two or three sandwiches. You really don't want your grilled cheese to be stuffed with mushrooms, but you do want to get a sense of them actually being present. So switch my spoon here just so that I'm able to get all the sides. I'm going to add just a shot of water. Just to ensure that it's not too seasoned and it's not too hard. The mushrooms really get to saute. Okie doke. So, while your mushrooms are sauteing, you can go ahead <laughs> and drop your veginase first onto the plate or just lightly spread it across the outer piece of bread. You don't want it to hunk on like you were actually eating a sandwich with uh, nays on it, veginase or mayonnaise, but I can guarantee you this is going to give it the crispiest coating you have ever seen. So it's just a thin layer, very thin, very thin. You don't want it to be too heavily placed onto your bread. So this is the outside. I'm gonna lay the cheese. I'm gonna lay my cheese here. Sorry. I'm gonna lay my cheese here. So I'm going to spread my veginase or mayonnaise if you're more interested in, you know, may mayonnaise. For this video or this particular sandwich, I am using veginase. So again, you just you're just lightly coating the outsides of your bread. All right, so those are my two outer layers. 
since I'm using a, a very light bread, Italian bread, I am only going to leave mine in there for about one minute tops. I'm not going to leave it in there long <clears throat> because as I said, the bread is really soft, it's really fresh, and I only have a light coating of Veginase. Feel free to press the corners down just to make sure that it's an even distribution of heat. I know for this particular pan, it's lopsided, so I have to turn to make sure that, you know, I'm getting all sides. I've toasted my breads. This one is a little less toasted. I didn't turn it like I should have, my old jinky skillet. But this one is nicely golden brown. And so what you're gonna do is flip your loaves and add the cheese. I like all types of cheese. My grilled cheese. I got a little pepper jack. I got sharp cheddar. I have some monster here and some Havarti or is it Harbarte? Arbarti? Abarti? Whatever. And I'm just gonna get all of those to overlap. Make sure I cover every corner. Just because I like cheddar to be at the top. After I added the cheese, I'm going to go ahead and scoop on my portobello mixture. This mixture smells good. It tastes good. I tasted it. Trust me. But you don't want to add too many mushrooms because after all it is a grilled cheese. You don't want it to be, you know, a grilled mushroom. Alright, then you're going to go ahead and add these puppies to some heat for about 10 minutes. I have my oven at 350. So. I'm going to go ahead and move to this delicious buddy move it to a plate i hear sandwiches are better if they are cut diagonally but i gotta go with straight down the middle Yum. All right, guys, there you have it. Gooey, ooey, hearty grilled cheese sandwich. So good, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, guys, this is such a great sandwich. It's perfect with soup, salad, fries. It's perfect for families, kids, adults older senior citizens everyone will love this it's the right amount of cheese the right amount of heartiness like a meat the mushroom it has a kick the garlic it's just so good guys you really should try it okay till next time guys bye